person-to-person -person connectivity to reduce business transaction costs. The time and the cost of travel and the connect to core and the periphery in Asia. We believe that prioritizing logistic connectivity projects in the ASEAN Master Plan should mainly involve promoting micro, small and medium enterprises development. In order to put MSMEs in regional and global supply chain map, Asian Master Plan connectivity should serve a tool to prepare SMEs to move up the value chain and explore more value creating activities that could generate rapid growth and utilize higher skill level. Therefore, in achieving the aspiration to realize the vision of your political differences and disputes. Under the pillar of ASEAN political security, we have agreed on promoting development in adherence to principle of democracy, rule of law, good governance, and promoting and protection of human rights. We are striving for our peoples to enjoy human rights and fundamental freedoms. We are aspiring for our peoples to live with dignity in peace, harmony, and prosperity. Indeed, we have noticed a welcoming development in recent years in which ASEAN has joined the global march toward electoral democracy and consolidation. But it is also raising concern over the quality of our democracy. Are we more into narrative or substantive? Are we focusing on form over substance? Those are some reflections that have, be, have to be taken into consideration. Ladies and gentlemen, referring back to my previous point on the link between economic development and growth to peace and security, I remain convinced that a stable political environment and peaceful relationship can spawn benefit to Asian economy to pursue a dynamic region where ASEAN should maintain its centrality in the evolving region, regional infrastructure. Ladies and gentlemen, to conclude, Indonesia remains committed to see ASEAN as the cornerstone, cornerstone of our foreign policy. The House of the Representative of the Republic of Indonesia is highly committed to support the ASEAN community through formulating legislation conducive to ASEAN economic community, ensuring budget allocation to support ASEAN community and monitoring the policy implementation. At the same time, we will be optimizing our role and involvement in IPA and keeping the vibrant vibrancy of IPA. It is indeed essential as we, and as we are entering the 50th anniversary of ASEAN in 2017 with a credo to, credo to partnering for change, engaging the world. In this partnership, we believe that Parliament holds a crucial role in the integration of the economic, social, political, and cultural dimension of the ASEAN unity. I thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.